What's going on guys? It's your boy Crazy Spartan here. And as always, before I get started off with the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been offering on the channel. Uh, we just uploaded episode 5, I believe, of 2K. Uh, literally, as of me recording this video, it was last night. Well, tonight. Whatever. Uh, but, you know, go check it out. Uh, the Baby KD series is live now, so if you want to go check out any of the episodes... Uh, definitely go check them out, but in this video right here, I'm going to be talking about the mid-season 2 update slash patch notes or whatever else uh, with weapon balancing, new weapons, and all that other good jazz. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into this gameplay. So, uh, I was using my M4 uh, Spaz 12 class setup in this gameplay, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I was playing kind of like a bot this game, but whatever. Um... We dropped 40 kills, uh, so it was about this update. So, uh, the next update, or this update that we got, uh, it went live uh, March 29th, which, as of me recording this video, uh, was a couple of days ago. So I'm kind of late, but whatever. Stuff happens. Um, so, it bought, you know, some content. It bought new maps, weapons, and operators. Um, however, that are there are plenty of things that uh, they haven't added from uh, the official roadmap into the game yet. That'll probably be uh, before Season 2 ends, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, so, the update was 12.2 gigabytes on PS5. It was 7.4 gigs on uh, PlayStation. Uh, Xbox Series X, it was 14 gigabytes. Xbox One, it was 9. And PC, it was 8.1 gigabytes. So, there you go. Miami Strike was one of the new maps, okay? Uh, essentially, we got three strike maps in this game, I think. We got Crossroads Strike, Armada Strike, and then we have Miami Strike. Essentially, these are smaller versions of uh, the bigger 6v6 maps that we have in the game. Uh, I haven't really played any Miami Strike. They have a playlist out, Miami Strike 24-7, which I haven't hopped on that yet. I may give it a go around. Uh, but like I said, I haven't played it. Uh, it's just a smaller version of Miami. Uh, so, if you like the map Miami, then this might be something that you're looking for. But a lot of people didn't really like Miami to begin with. So, maybe you'll like a smaller version of Miami. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, we already talked about the Miami 24-7 playlist. Then they added... Another new map, Mansion, which was a 2v2 and a 3v3 gunfight map, I guess. Um, it's set in a Cuban compound, like a mansion or whatever, so there you go. Uh, Globa, which is a multi-team map. Uh, you know, this is kind of Nikita uh, Dragovich's testing ground for the expansion of the Numbers program. Uh, dealing with the whole Black Ops, you know, Cold War storyline type deal. And, um... You know, so if you enjoy multi-team or, uh, you know, whatever else, then go check out Globa. It's actually a really good looking map, not even gonna lie to you guys. Uh, multi-team hardpoint is another thing. Basically, it's like, you know, regular hardpoint, but you have multiple teams now instead of just two teams going at it. Uh, so there you go. The first team to reach a thousand points wins the match. Uh, so they got new prop hunt maps. Uh, and new props, so that's pretty dope. Uh, league play, they done some stuff to the league play. Uh, zombies, they added new outbreak content. Uh, they added uh, a new nighttime sanatorium region. Uh, you know, they added a new secure objective, new in game intel. Uh, they added a new dirt bike vehicle, so that's pretty dope uh, if you're into that kind of jazz. They added some Dead Ops Arcade 3. Uh, updates to the game as well uh, so now starting with season 2 reloaded which is the update we're talking about now uh, players will now earn XP and battle pass XP uh, so you'll always make progress towards master prestige and the battle pass so if you're looking to hop on Dead Ops Arcade 3 and that's something you can do and, and earn XP while you do it uh, there's a new Onslaught limited time mode, uh, plus content or whatever else. Um, they added a new containment mode, uh, for a new intense new experience or whatever. Um, along with a new blueprint challenge. I don't know what that means. I guess it's just a blueprint challenge, like, you can earn 
a new blueprint for completing a certain challenge. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Uh, they added blueprint support, stability, and bug fixes, and more. Uh, so, they fixed bugs on uh, Firebrace Z, Outbreak, The Machine, Dead Ops Arcade, Onslaught. They basically just fixed, you know, a lot of uh, bugs that were in the game. Uh, they added a weapon tuning update, which is going to be something interesting that we're going to talk about here. Um, so, they implemented tuning to make the Krig 6, the FFAR, and the Groza more competitive in the assault rifle class. So, now it's going to be uh, competitive along with the M4 and uh, the, the Galil, if you want to call it that. Um, and a lot of the other assault rifles and the AK as well. So, uh, that's cool. While adjusting the Milano 821, the KSP... Uh, the LC-10, the MAX-10, and the AK-74U. So, uh, they've made muzzle attachments and underbarrel attachments. Uh, I guess increase damage for rockets or something like. So they basically buff the rocket launchers in this game uh, because a lot of people were complaining about uh, not getting kills or slight jacket users, which. I mean, it, it was pretty upsetting, I'm not even going to lie to you, uh, so that's that's something to look forward to as well, um, and yeah, I guess that was all the patch notes, but we'll talk about what they changed on the assault rifles, uh, so on the Creed 6, they added improved visibility while firing in aim down sights, uh, they, you know, they fixed the, the weapon accuracy, the movement, and the visual clarity of the weapon. Uh, the FFAR, they increased the ballistic speed by 12.8%, so that means your bullets are going to, uh, you know, hit their target more faster. It, it just basically speeds up the weapon velocity, if you will. Uh, the Groza, they increased the maximum damage range by 40%, so... Hey, man, I might have to give the Groza a try, uh, since they did that. That is a big massive bump right there uh and for the attachments they've done a, a complete tuning pass on a lot of the muzzle and under barrel attachments that affect recoil so uh, a lot of those recoil affecting attachments they buff those or they change them in certain kind of ways the smgs uh for the Blano, they increased the mid-range damage by 10 percent they increased uh, the mid-range damage range by 33%. They increased the sprint out speed by 14.2%. They increased the race speed by 11%. And they slightly increased the aim down sights in speed. So, they've done a lot of stuff to the Milano. Uh, then they have a lot more attachments on here. Or a lot more uh, buffs and nerfs. If you guys want to check out those, you can. Uh, they reduced the maximum damage range on the LMGs by 25%, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, they, they changed a lot of stuff, man. Uh, and they fixed the dual wield for the Magnus. Really good stuff, Treyarch. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, they fixed weapon progression now. So, that way, um, players can now earn weapon XP and challenge progress by any by using any weapon even if you don't currently own it so for example if you don't own the AK-47 but you pick it up off Enemy the ground and you use it and you earn own. weapon XP and stuff like that you're able to earn XP for using that weapon even though you don't have it so there you go uh, they slightly reduce speed of changing stances so uh, from stand crouch and prone um, so that's pretty interesting there um, and yeah, they, they added a bunch of other stuff, and um, uh, there you go. Um, they added a lot of stability fixes, stuff like that. So mostly this update was a weapon tuning update, uh, a balance update, all that other good stuff. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what I think about it. Personally, I, I like this update. I'm glad that they finally got around to nerfing certain, you know, certain weapons putting certain weapons on board with other weapons and stuff like that it's really cool uh they added a lot of stability fixes which we'll see how the game operates now with that and, uh, i just feel like the game plays different i don't know it feels more sluggish now let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i think it, it feels more sluggish it's definitely more sluggish um 
And for some odd reason, my class setups keep getting reset after I make them already. Uh, so hopefully that's a fix that they change because I literally only have this class setup that you're seeing in the gameplay right here. So uh, y'all y'all know how these Treyarch updates is. They can fix one thing and then another another thing just goes completely wrong. And that's that's just how it is. The theater mode still isn't fixed. A lot of stuff they still have to fix in the gameplay. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay though. Uh, using the Dark Matter uh, XM4. Really good, beautiful camo there. Uh, we dropped 40 kills. 40 and 18. 222 KD for the gameplay. Uh, but other than that, uh, y'all check out the feature channel section. A lot of good stuff over there. And check out the links in the description box below. A lot of good stuff there as well. But other than that, y'all let me know what y'all think about the update. Do y'all think it sucks? Do you think it's good? Do you think there's some stuff they could have improved? Or do you think they hit all the right spots? Let me know. But other than that, y'all stay motivated, stay dedicated, always have that Mamba mentality, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace out. Tell me pretty lights, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.